In einer der berühmtesten und lebhaftesten Einkaufspassagen der Erde entsteht das Weltraumspiel Star Citizen. In der Third Street Promenade von Los Angeles ist das Zuhause der Entwickler von Cloud Imperium Games. Hi Peter, I'm Hello. Ja I am Jared, I'm the community manager here at Cloud Imperium Games. Also, pleased yeah. to meet you. Yeah. So, you're showing us the future of space sims. Already. Yeah, well, that's what we like to think. Well, I thought we might uh, start with our design pit. If you want to take a look? Yes, let's go upstairs. Let's go up these stairs right here. Das Studio wurde gegründet von Chris Roberts, dem Erfinder namhafter Weltraumspiele wie Wing Commander oder Freelancer. Unser Tourguide ist Community Manager Jared Huckabee. 40 Entwickler werkeln im LA Office, das Studio wächst aber nahezu täglich. We get these emails every day, we've hired this person, what is so it's kind of hard to keep track. You'll see uh, in the next room, we are cramming desks in wherever we can. Yeah. So we, we, are, we are constantly look on the lookout for new talent. Mm -hmm. uh, or, originally the thought was that most of the development would take place in Austin. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 Texas has a lot of uh, uh, tax incentives and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So we thought the majority of our development would happen there. Mm -hmm. But as the crowdfunding exploded and the, mm -hmm. and the project, we realized that we could realize more of the project, more of the long-term goals mm -hmm. sooner. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we expanded that studio, we expanded out to Manchester, mm. we've recently expanded out to Frankfurt, and this studio got much bigger. We were originally just this room, and then we pushed into that room, and we okay. pushed downstairs, so we've, okay. uh, it's growth, uh. a lot of growth. Inspiriert wird das komplette Team von Star Wars, Star Trek und Science Fiction generell, erzählt uns Jared. We're very excited, at least down in the community team, uh, we're all we get all the new Star Wars books that they come out with. It's, it's revitalized us, so so we're, we're very excited about the new Star Wars. So we're getting all the books, we're getting the trading card, we're even getting back into trading cards. Started out, uh, one of our guys, uh, his father owns a non-sports card, trading card store. So we came in and we're like, we need Star Wars cards. <laughs> so he's been bringing in Star Wars cards for us. Like, here, and we give him cash, and he gives us the cards and stuff. So yeah, no, we're, we're, we're all, we're all, I don't think, I don't think anybody here is in a, is in a science fiction geek. I don't know anybody here that would like a star in science fiction. Den meisten Platz nimmt das Büro von Chris Roberts ein. Es ist gefüllt mit zahlreichen Goodies, Fan-Einsendungen, Fantasy-Miniaturen und dem Spielerechner des Maestro. Die letzten Szenen unseres Studiobesuchs dürfen wir im Keller drehen. Dort entstehen die Videoformate für die Community. Die Entwickler haben ihre eigene wöchentliche Feedback-Show, in der sie berichten, wie es um das Spiel steht. Downstairs is the community pit. That's where the entire community team works. Uh, they're in the middle of their Reverse the Verse. It's our weekly uh, live stream that goes on every Friday, 11 a.m. Uh, we broadcast on Twitch, where all the popular game, the game uh, uh, live streams are. Uh, they are right in the middle of their broadcast, so we're gonna go in, you know, see if we don't disrupt it too much, but we're gonna disrupt it a little bit. Uh, and you will get to see our broadcast with the interaction of the fans while it's happening, while we're filming it, while it's happening. It should be interesting. So come on. Uh, do, 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 do. So. This is our community team. So right now. Hi. Hi. The community, say hi to Germans. Yay. Hi. Well, why don't you, Peter, tell the folks watching what you guys what you guys are doing here? Okay, um, actually this is totally secret, so please don't tell everybody. <laughs> <laughs> But we are from German IT site Golem.de and we're doing some coverage about space uh, Star Citizen and uh, space games and look at everything here. But as I said, keep completely <laughs> confident. Please. You guys can keep a secret, right? Yeah. 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 Eine kleine Webcam reicht dem Team aus, das sich vor dem PC tummelt und Fragen beantwortet. Vorproduziert oder geplant ist hier wenig. Authentizität ist der Belegschaft am wichtigsten, obwohl es sich bei Star Citizen um ein millionenschweres Produkt handelt. One of the things that, that we that we get that we hear a lot from folks is that 80, we, we just passed 84 million yesterday. Okay. So so we hear that you know 84 million is a, is a lot of money. Mm -hmm. uh, what often gets forgotten in that is that this company didn't exist prior to this game. But it's it's an it's a very expensive proposition not just to make a video game in this day and age, mm -hmm. but to start up 
a company mm -hmm. that spans the world. Mm -hmm. So, and that all comes out of that same 84 million. Mm -hmm. So we, we subsidize the development by, uh, uh, by okay, selling ships, by, by, by selling ships, uh, uh, different concepts, uh, different variants yes. and whatnot. Die Community hilft dem Team aber nicht nur mit Geld, sondern auch direkt bei der Entwicklung, etwas, das vor 20 Jahren noch unvorstellbar gewesen wäre. You know, hey, if you've got an idea for a ship, because we were all fans just as much as we were, if you've got an idea for ships, mm -hmm. you know, give us an idea. One of our most iconic ships is the Constellation. Uh, it, it's our, it's our multi-crew test bed, and we had our first iteration of it. You know, it, it came out, and most people were happy with it, but there were some very real concerns about it. And, and one guy went so far as to redesign the ship. He had some modeling experience. He loaded the ship up into his, into his thing, and he, he changed the layout. And we were so impressed by his feedback. We're like, you know what? He, he actually, we actually do like his layout better than what we did. So we revised the ship in a second revision and incorporated not all of his changes, but the ones that we thought were, you know, were appropriate. And so the community directly affected the design of the ship. And then we, we had that for a couple months and we thought we were happy with that. And then we get more feedback from folks. We're like, you know what? They're starting to have a point. This, you know, there's, there's a, a vocal minority that says, you know, maybe we should do this. And Chris agreed with him. So now we're going through another revision. I mean, so no, it's, it goes back to what we discussed before with, with whether complaining was annoying and whatnot. It's your, your first instinct, you go, oh yeah, yeah. And then you go, that is what we're here for though, and he does have a point. So let's, let's not ignore it, and let's bring that voice into the, into the conversation, so.